So in order to get ServiceNow access as a developer, you have to go to this website and sign up and get a ServiceNow ID in order to create your own and use developer instances of ServiceNow for your own testing and training purposes. Once you log into ServiceNow, this is how you're supposed to create your own service or instance of service now choices i have i'll go ahead and select washington dc and it says here fulfilling request in once it's done and usually doesn't take that long but it can you will get a pop-up it says here that your instance is ready by the way if you like this video please take a moment to like share and or subscribe or leave a comment if you like this type of content please say hello hi or present in the comments below i appreciate that all right so that didn't take too long and it says here and uh, it says we recommend upgrading our to our latest release turic so that you can access the latest features and functionalities i don't know i, I always assumed that those were locations but maybe it's the developer version of each which is perfectly fine I mean, it's up to you. You can try either one and see how it works, I suppose. Anyways, this one is up. I will go ahead and log into it. Here's the link. And if you watched some of my older videos or some of the more recent videos, you will see something similar whenever you request a login ID. So this is for administrator and you can get this too. So you would copy this link, make sure you save it somewhere and you open up a new tab copy the link in there and it will also copy the password you can see that this link that they give you has password as part of it login id and password and here is this is the password that it's being used you can see by password and it says here for the name for the username you can see that it's admin and the reason we know that we can also check it here where it says username is admin and if you click on here, you can see what the password is and what the role is. All right. While it's loading there, it may take a bit to wake up the instance for it to come up completely. And uh, it, yeah, it says here developer, you know, dev at service now. It says took too long to respond. And that's because it's still kind of building and waking up the instance here unfortunately doesn't tell you whether the instance is up completely or not but it may take you know a couple of minutes for it to actually come online fully it says here it's online but you see i when i click to refresh it says it's refreshing the instance we just kind of have to wait it out all right i mean it says here that it's online again so we'll go ahead and try that and uh you know by all means if you want to try this login id and password I'll leave this up, but the instance will go to sleep and start to hibernate unless I re-log in and with my completely different login ID and password and wake it up. So if you want to wake if you want me to wake it up, let me know in the comments. But I'll go ahead and leave this up. So this is there you go. Your admin password and whoever logs in can make changes. I have no control over that, but for first couple of days, I will leave that up to you so if you want to log in and delete a bunch of stuff then that's fine too i mean it's it's going to be reset anyways at some point so let's see if we can get back in and here is our link again i just kind of hit enter on there to refresh it to see if it'll let us go in a few minutes later all right so here we here we are now logged into our instance and we have some options that we can look at if i select all i can for example recreate a help desk profile so if i just search for users go to users and you can see whoever the users are but if you wanted to create a new one select new on the right and let's say type in new user I guess their user ID would be new user. Why not? Title, and you can make this up as of, of you as you want. Usually, if you hit the magnifying glass, ah, here we go. IT. Sure, let's select IT department. This doesn't matter here when it comes to this. This is just semantics, and you can specify email to be whatever you need. Anyways, to get you going, I'll go ahead and just click submit here and i will search for this test user again just so i can assign it 
proper permissions to work basically help desk or just to use the ticketing system obviously as an admin you can do any of this i need to change this to user id that's why it's not coming up test user test user didn't, didn't I, what did i call a user test user new user that's what i called the new user forgive me new user there it is and here's where you would change the roles if you select roles down here and select edit on the side you want them to have incident tracking uh, capabilities and which is iti itil select the arrow to the right select save so that they get these and you can see the bunch of other inherited roles or nested roles will pop in so that this will work and you can add them to groups so select groups down here and select type in help desk i like to do both help desk and service desk either or is fine but if you want to really test that this is what you would do so this is when it comes to permissions this is all set uh, this just needs to refresh and it will show groups uh, but you want to change the password so set password select set password generate and you can see what it is i mean this is ridiculously big so i will just keep clicking generate until i see something that's kind of normal and select copy save password and now i can log in as new user so i will go in and log out as admin and type in new user i'm going to paste in that password uh, it's forcing me to change it which is fine i will change it to i love new passwords one I don't know if it'll let me if it'll let me do that. It may not let me do that. Nope. New password. Minimum eight characters. Blah blah blah. Special character. Okay, sure. Let's do this here. Love ticket. Dollar sign two. Uh, or four six. Let's try this. copy pasta hey it took that all right now i'm logged in and you can see it takes me immediately to the dashboard for somebody that would be working help desk which is fine if you select on the three dots here you can view tickets that are within your system right now there is nothing in here but you can create new tickets if you select right here and you can see tickets that are assigned you can see all tickets in the system right now there is nothing uh, incidents that are assigned to you uh, unassigned incidents and you know there are a bunch of them well okay sorry these these were interactions up top the incidents are down here and unassigned you can see there are tons in here and assigned to you nothing because you haven't taken any of these so you know if you go in and pick any of them you can assign it to yourself and you know close it resolve it work on it you know gives you full access on how to learn how to use these systems i hope this helps you if you if it does please share it with friends take care bye